Hi, my name is Jason. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily get the old Windows 7 style start menu installed in your Windows 8, 8.1, or Windows 10. To do this, simply open a web browser, and I personally like Google Chrome, so I'll open that, and do a Google search for the words open, shell, download, and look at the results that come back. Yeah, the one you want to click on is the one that shows github.com open shell, open shell menu. So go ahead and click on that to make sure you get to the right page. And when that appears, the actual link you're looking for is on the right column underneath releases. They'll have the latest release and all you have to do is click on the version number. The next page appears and you want to click on open shell setup and then the version number is also listed to the side of that. So go ahead and click on it. And I'm in Google Chrome, so my downloads will show up in the bottom left corner. So all I have to do is simply click there to run the program. Your browser may be different. Um, just find and run the download, and you'll be right at this point where I'm at here. So the open shell setup runs, and we click Next. Agree to the license agreement by checking the box. Click Next. And I have a preference where I disable parts of programs that I don't necessarily want or need. So in this case, I don't want or need Classic Explorer, so I turn that off, and then also Classic IE. So I'm left with just the Start Menu uh, program and the updater for the Start Menu program. So once that's done, I click Next, I click Install, and the Windows User Account Control appears, and you have to click Yes to allow the program to make changes to the computer. So go ahead and do that, and the installation is finished. So I'll go ahead and click the Finish button. Now the next step to take is just click the Start button in the bottom left corner of your screen, and this will cause the Settings menu to open. I strongly recommend that you don't change anything here and just simply click OK. So at this point, it's fully installed. You're pretty much done. So when we click on the Start button now, we get what looks like the old familiar Windows 7 style Start menu, which has your user uh, profile, your documents, pictures, music, control panel and printers. Those things people miss most in the new Windows 10 style menu. Uh, most of the time just because people don't want to spend the time required to learn the new system and figure out where everything is and I think it's rather confusing myself. I prefer the um, open shell style menu myself too. So as you can see the control panels in here with all the options listed on the side. You can even double click on the word control panel and even go from large icons to category. And as you can see, it looks just like it did on Windows 7. So it makes it very easy to use, very familiar, um, and you might like it a whole lot better. So one thing to know is if you want the, old, the new Windows 10 style menu, it's still accessible. All you have to do is at the very top, click on Start Menu Windows, and there it is. So in the new menu, uh, they have their new control panel and settings area, which is normally done by clicking on the cog wheel where it says settings, and it looks like that. Now, they did put that in the uh, open shell menu right here under settings. So included with that is a quick one-click way to get to that same screen without having to go back to the old menu system. So hopefully you'll like that a lot. Uh, one other change uh, Windows 7 users like to have is a icon for this PC, which used to also be called My Computer. To get that, all you have to do is right-click a blank area of your desktop and go to Personalize. And next, if your screen is a little smaller, you have to scroll down and you'll see um, down at the bottom, okay, you click on themes and then go to the bottom and it's got desktop icon settings. If your screen's a little bit wider, you'll see it's on the, on the right side in the column. So go ahead and click desktop icon settings, place a check mark next to computer, and then click OK. And at this point, you'll see also that you now have this PC, which pulls up all of the uh, drives and network uh, drives that you have access to and makes it look even more like the Windows 7 that you're used to. So hopefully this will save you a lot of time and frustration and make your computer easier to use. I always uh, appreciate comments on my videos. If you like to see more videos in the future, please subscribe. And I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you very much.